Hindu mythology is one of the oldest and richest mythologies in the world. It has influenced many other mythologies and religions that came after it. Hindus worship many gods and goddesses. According to ancient Indian literature, there are millions of gods of the universe. But of course, we do not have time enough to learn about all of them. However, in this video, we can learn about some of them, some of the most important deities in Hinduism. Let's get started. Brahma. In Hinduism, Brahma is one of the three supreme deities. He is said to be the god of creation. In many descriptions, paintings, and statues, Brahma is often depicted as an old man with a white beard and having three or sometimes four heads. Vishnu. Vishnu is the second god in the Hindu trinity. If Brahma is the creator, then Vishnu is the preserver. He is the god of preservation who maintains and manages the continuity of the universe. He is often depicted as a man with blue skin and four arms. Shiva. Shiva is the last god in the Hindu trinity. If Brahma is the creator, Vishnu is the preserver, then Shiva is the destroyer. As the god of destruction, his role is to destroy the universe in order to recreate it, paving the way for beneficial change. He is often considered the most powerful god in the Hindu pantheon. Those are the three supreme gods in Hinduism. They are known as the Trimurti. Now let's look at the normal gods and goddesses. Saraswati. Saraswati is the goddess of knowledge, music, and art. Brahma created Saraswati as the incarnation of knowledge. Saraswati helped Brahma create order in the world. Ganesha. Ganesha is the god of wisdom. He has the power to clear obstacles and pave the way for people to move forward in life. Hence, he is one of the most worshipped deities in Hinduism. In many references, he is described as having the head of an elephant. Datta. Datta is the god of health, wealth, and peace. He is one of the most popular gods and is considered to be very helpful in everyday life. It is said that without him, people will not find peace and happiness in life. Yama. In Hinduism, Yama is the god of death and the lord of the underworld. In many pieces of literature, Yama is described as the first entity to die, paving the way for death to be followed by all humans. He has dark blue skin, sometimes purplish, and has a scary face. Surya. Surya is the sun god in Hinduism. He is the personification of the sun and is considered the supreme soul who brings light and warmth to the world. Chandra. Chandra is the Hindu god of the moon. He is the personification of the moon and lord of the night. He is also associated with softness, sensitivity, and emotion. Bhumi. Bhumi is the goddess of the earth. Most of her duties are to help humans on earth, especially in dealing with drought and famine. Apart from Ganesha, Bhumi is also a deity that is widely worshipped. Agni. In Hinduism, Agni is the god of fire. Agni is considered the mouth of the gods and goddesses and the medium that conveys offerings to them. Agni is often depicted as having two heads and seven arms. Varuna. Varuna is the god of water and the ruler of the sky realm. He is one of the oldest gods in Hindu literature and was said to be the king of the gods. He is usually depicted as a man with four arms holding a lasso made of a snake. Vayu. Vayu is the god of air, wind, and breath. Even though he was the representation of the gentle wind, he was actually one of the most ruthless gods. Also, he is often described as grumpy and having green skin. Sounds familiar, huh? Mariman. Mariman is the goddess of rain. This goddess is widely worshipped in South India, and many festivals are held specifically in her honor. She is widely regarded as a guardian and giver of blessings. Indra. 
Indra is the god of the sky, lightning, thunder, and storms. He is also considered the king of the gods. Apart from being worshipped as a deity, Indra is also considered a superhero. He is renowned for his strength and his role in defeating evil. Lakshmi Lakshmi is the goddess of wealth, fortune, and prosperity. She is often depicted as a woman dressed elegantly and wearing a lot of golden jewelry. Many people worship her because she is said to have power over welfare. Annapurna Annapurna is the goddess of food and nourishment. Several temples are dedicated to her. Many people ask her for an abundance of food. Durga Durga is the goddess of protection. Durga is often told as a goddess who fights evil and demonic forces. So it is understandable that she has many hands and weapons. There is too much evil in this world. Hanuman Hanuman is the god of strength and courage. He is good at fighting and has various kinds of magic. Hanuman is often depicted as an ape with a sturdy body. Many scholars think that Hanuman was the inspiration for Sun Wukong, who later also became the inspiration for Son Goku. Parvati Parvati is a benevolent goddess associated with power. She has a lion as her pet and an elephant-headed son. Yes, she is the mother of Ganesha. Now you know why she is the goddess of power. Kali. If Parvati is the goddess of power, then Kali is the goddess of ultimate power. Uh, what's the difference? Well, ultimate power is an unfiltered and raw kind of power. It is associated with destruction and doomsday. Kartikeya. Kartikeya is the Ares of Hindu mythology. Yes, he is the god of war. He is the commander of the army of the gods. He has killed many demons and thus saved the world from their atrocities. He is also worshipped as the god of victory. Kamadeva. Kamadeva is one of the two Hindu deities associated with love. He is known to awaken carnal desires among people. He is often depicted as having green skin and carrying a bow made of sugarcane and arrows made of flowers. Rati After Kamadeva, Rati is the second Hindu deity associated with love. As the goddess of love, Rati has a stunningly beautiful appearance. She is also considered the goddess of lust and is said to be irresistible to any man. Radha Radha is the goddess of compassion and tenderness. She is one of the most powerful goddesses in Hindu mythology. Radha is said to be the wife and the female counterpart of the supreme god Krishna. Santoshi Mata Santoshi Mata is the goddess of satisfaction. She is revered for her ability to grant wishes and fulfill desires and she is worshipped by many Hindus who seek her blessings and guidance. Yoga Maya Yoga Maya is the goddess of illusion. She is considered to be a divine energy or power that facilitates the cosmic play of the gods and is worshipped for her ability to bestow blessings and remove obstacles. Ganga Ganga is the goddess of purification. She is believed to be the personification of the river Ganges. She is worshipped for her ability to cleanse the sins and impurities of those who bathe in her waters. Sati Sati is the goddess of marriage. She is the first wife of Lord Shiva and is revered as a symbol of love, loyalty, and devotion in Hinduism. Shashti. Shashti is a goddess who is worshipped as the goddess of reproduction. She is believed to bless families with healthy children and protect them from diseases and harm. Swaha. Swaha is a goddess associated with the ritual of sacrifice. She is believed to be the personification of the offering. 
and is invoked during Vedic rituals to receive and convey the offerings to the gods. Ayapan. Ayapan is a deity worshipped as the god of righteousness. He is considered to be the son of Lord Shiva and Lord Vishnu's female avatar Mohini and is especially venerated in South India. Manasa. Manasa is a goddess associated with snakes. She is believed to have the power to control snakes and is worshipped for protection against their venomous bites. Brahmari. Brahmari is the goddess of bees. She is believed to be the creator and protector of bees and is often worshipped by those seeking healing and relief from ailments. Mitra. Mitra is a god associated with contracts and covenants. He is often depicted as one of the Adityas, a group of solar deities, and is considered to be a symbol of honesty, loyalty, and fairness. Tvashta. Tvashta is a god associated with creativity, craftsmanship, and divine artistry. He is often depicted as an architect and builder and is believed to be the creator of the three worlds and the heavenly chariots of the gods. Hushan. Hushan is the god of meetings and journeys. He is often depicted as a shepherd who guides and protects travelers on their journeys and is considered to be a benevolent deity who brings people together. Ariyaman. Ariyaman is the god of hospitality and alliances. He is considered to be a symbol of generosity, honor, and respect. He is worshipped in various parts of India, particularly in the northern regions. Aditi. Aditi is a goddess in Hindu mythology associated with infinity and motherhood. She is often revered as the mother of Adityas and is considered to be a symbol of unlimited potential. Hindu mythology is vast and complex, with a plethora of deities and mythological stories that have been passed down for generations. While this video provided an overview of some of the major gods and goddesses in Hinduism, it is important to note that there are many more deities and divine beings that are worshipped by Hindus all around the world.